Chris Burnell here coming live from New Hampshire. I put you down so I can put my hair up, but where are you coming in? Go ahead and drop your location in the comment box. Where are you coming in from? So, and we'll go right to it. Okay, so yesterday on my video, I was talking about that cauliflower breadstick that you've seen like popping around on Facebook and the recipes, and I was like, do you know, I wanna try it. I don't really care for cauliflower just because it tastes like, kinda, tastes like nothing. It doesn't really have that much flavor, and it smells bad, so. Okay, so. <laughs> Cauliflower, right? This will be extra. I'm going to try some pizza crust later on this week. But you have about two cups of the cauliflower ground. There's a few different recipes. So I took one from, I'll let you guys know which one. I took a couple, actually different, a couple different versions and I kind of like put them all together. But I will give credit to Simple Recipes and I believe it's taste or I have to I have to double check okay but I know simple recipes is one of them that I looked at mix it together Ooh, the smell it just smells like your backside <laughs> okay and so then it has a wet consistency now I'm just gonna make a small one so if you're gonna make it you know obviously um, for more people. So it's one egg. I'm gonna go ahead and put in about a teaspoon. Of garlic. Oregano, I'm putting in about one table. Now, being a cook, I don't, I don't measure a lot of things. When you bake, you have to measure. Um, otherwise, it's very catastrophic. It could be catastrophic. <laughs> I love that word. Um, right? Okay, so it's wet consistency. You see? Okay, so that was one tablespoon of oregano, one egg, about one and a half cups of cauliflower. Now a lot of the recipes say that to cook the cauliflower. One recipe had like put it in the microwave for 10 minutes, which I try and I don't use the microwave. Okay, I do. I just try not to. It's like cheating to me. Um, and I was like, do you know what? It's gonna cook anyways. The cauliflower is going to cook in the oven, so it's gonna be roasted. So I, and it's ground up so fine, I am doing it with raw cauliflower. So we, all the recipes I saw had cooked cauliflower, so we're doing our own thing. And then right here I have Mott's cheese, mozzarella cheese, and I put in probably about a half a cup. Then you preheat your oven, very noisy today. Preheat your oven to 450, okay? Then you have a sheet pan and you line it with liner paper, parchment paper. I'm going to go ahead and use my hands because I'm a hands type of girl. Um, you could use a you know, spatula, pour it in the pan. Here. I'll put it over here. So this will be saved. So I am cooking actually corned beef is on the stove. Um, I seared that and then I put in some stock. So my husband's going to love that. So it cooks for about almost two hours or so, and then you add the cabbage. Okay, so. Look at you can just press it down. So it says to cook in the um, oven for 15 minutes at 450. Take it out, add a little bit of cheese on the top, put it back in the oven until the cheese is melted. So at that point, when you take it out, you can go ahead and turn off your oven because the oven's still gonna be warm enough to melt your cheese. Or you can leave it on, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so, I'm 
very curious how this is going to turn out. So, there's this. Try to make it like, you know, like a, a pan pizza. You could do ovals if you want. You know? I want mine a little, this looks a little thin. I'm going to bulk it up a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it off and I'll do the video once um, it comes out of the oven and it's cool enough to cut and eat. And then um, we'll do it together. So if you want, if you're at work and you're on Facebook, which one of my friends the other day was telling me, giving me some facts about how many, how much time people are on, actually on Facebook at work. Um, just washing my hands. Um, it's about three to four hours when they're at work. I'm so glad I'm not your boss because you will be fired. Okay, so I'm putting it in the oven, 450. Alrighty, so this way you have enough time to go to the store. If you're not working today, day off, yay! If you work from home, awesome! Uh, go ahead and jump to the, um, jump in your car, go to the store and get the stuff. And then, you know, we'll do a live video maybe in about... Uh, yeah, 20 minutes or so. Um, actually, I'll wait a little bit longer. I'll do like, yeah, about 20, 25 minutes. So, uh, you can jump to the store and you can come back and you can make it and we can taste it at the same time. Or you can just go out on your way home from, you know, work or what have you. Go to the store and get these ingredients. And then you can make it. So, it's plenty of time. So, you guys have a great day. And go ahead, oh yeah, put a two in the comment box if you're going to try this recipe. Or if you want me to do a recipe with you guys, for you guys, or you're unsure of how something tastes and you're a little scared, yeah, then uh, 